three, go. Welcome to Theme Park Wizard. This is a part three adventure of Disney Investor Day. We have Chris, Orange Girl 55, over there. And then we have George down there. And he, uh, oh, wow, I just, I just messed up. Well, anyway, we're going to continue. Chris does Star Wars in the first video. I'm going to link it up below, up there. George is doing the other video on Disney and Pixar. So sub subscribe to him for that. And I'm going to link this video up there. Where can they find you lovely people, George? They can find me again. I'm on YouTube with as uh, Disney Family Man 23. You could also find me on Twitter at Disney George. And I'm also part of the Grand Circle Tour podcast. And you can listen to our podcast on YouTube and also on iTunes. I always meant to ask you. I don't know if I did. 23, is that a special number to you? I more so, I wanted to add a number to that. So I just pretty much used 23 as the year of 1923 um, when, well. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. That's what to say, because that's yeah. like such a coincidence if you didn't plan it that way. <laughs> but that's super cool. Chris, where can I find you? You can find me on YouTube, Orange Grow 55. I do content on Disney, Disney parks, all that stuff. Um, you can also find me on Twitter at Orange Grow 55. Either platform, I'm pretty active. So either one, you can go ahead and reach me. And go, if you want to go pick a fight with him, do it on Twitter. Yes. <laughs> quite lots of fights there. Yeah, I so. love fighting on Twitter. <laughs> it's my favorite. <laughs> an hours long debate with you. <laughs> there you go. You got it. You got it. So today we're going to talk about the Marvel section of Disney Investor Day, and whoo, didn't disappoint. So Chris is going to screen share right now, and we're going to break it down, including something that starts in less than a month. Beautiful WandaVision here. Oh my goodness, WandaVision. It's going to be fantastic. I think it's eight episodes. Um, this one, my one disappointment, and you guys can voice uh, when I my with the Mandalorian is that you never knew how long each episode was gonna be it could be like super short or super long but this one these uh, the Marvel ones are guaranteed to be an hour plus or an hour each time so at least I, I like knowing that hopefully with the Mandalorian season three it's a guaranteed like long time but WandaVision is super cool it's also confirmed to be part of the multiverse trilogy story. So WandaVision is going to go into Spider-Man 3, which is going to go to Doctor Strange 2 as this massive multiverse story, which is super cool. And I'm super excited. So what do you guys think, Chris? Um, no, I'm, I'm, be I'm beyond excited for this series. I'll, you know, Scarlet Witch is, is like one of my favorite female characters in the Marvel Universe. I absolutely love her character. I, I love um, the portrayal that i mean i love elizabeth olsen in this role i think she's phenomenal she's perfect for that role um really enjoyed um uh vision as well um i think he was pretty awesome in in the avengers movies and whatnot so i'm excited man i'm really i'm really curious about this series because it looks really weird and I have no idea what's going on. And it's <laughs> intriguing to me. Like, why are they trapped yeah. in the television? I, I don't even know. Uh, but uh, it looks pretty dope. I, I can't wait. I'm really, really, really excited for it. Scarlet Witch is seriously, like, the, the most badass freaking character in the MCU. She's awesome. So Yeah, that fight with Thanos was pretty impressive last year. Oh, yeah. And yeah. George... Um, for me, I'm actually very, think? I'm very curious oh. about WandaVision. It's I, sort of like of what Christopher was saying, that it's like, I don't really know too much about it, but yet I know enough that I, I want to see it. <laughs> it. It's like one of those things where it's like, it, it draws to you to say, wow, this is different. This looks interesting. Let's see where they're going with this. And then when they said it's going to intertwine with Spider-Man 3 and Doctor Strange 2, it's like, okay, now I'm really confused. But again, I'm confused more enough that I want to see how this pans out. Yeah, so this is like drawing from this comic, the comic of Wanda, or there's a, there a Wanda, um, well, I guess based on this one, be, since she lost Vision you know, in, Endgame, uh, in Infinity War, this is like Wanda 
being trapped into her own mind type of thing. Wow. She's using her own powers to be trapped into her own mind. So none of what you see is like real per se. That's why in that latest trailer where Monica comes and says, Wanda, and then she goes, who are you? And she goes, I don't know. And then someone's like <laughs> messing with her. And then I guess <laughs> Wanda will be the villain of Doctor Strange too, because she'll go like completely crazy. At the end of this show, there's like some massive fight scene and she'll Wanda go break out of her own mind and she'll go completely crazy, which is super cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. And, you know, speaking of Doctor Strange, that's the next one on the list. Doctor Strange, here's my boy, Benedict Cumberbatch. Can't wait. Doctor Strange 2 and the Multiverse of Madness, where Tom Holland is rumored, I mean, well, confirmed, but he'll probably be in here too. But whatever's going to happen here, and oh, this is, there's also rumors of, like, different, because they're going through different multiverses, so, like, different Avengers coming back, or, but even different versions, so, like, I guess Kevin Foggy's trying to get all the Avengers, all the actors that were rumored to, like, in the running to play the original Avengers, like Tom Cruise for Iron Man, Emily Blunt for Black Widow, to be in this movie, but in an alternate timeline. So wow. that sounds super cool, and I just can't wait. This would be, they describe this movie as like an Avengers level event. So that should be super cool in 2022. It's supposed to come out next year, but the stupid virus postponed it. But I'm super excited for this whole story. What do you think, George? Uh, absolutely. I love Doctor Strange. We went to go see it in theaters, and it's, it's so different from all the other kind of uh, Marvel and Avengers. He it's like his his story and how it evolves, and I just would love to see where this is going uh, to continue along with Doctor Strange. And as you were saying, Ethan, that between Doctor Strange and with WandaVision and Spider Man Three, it's almost like that they're making uh, an Avengers. Uh, five, six, and seven. <laughs> because they're, it's like that they're supposed to have all these uh, actors coming back um, to be a part of Doctor Strange and Spider-Man and WandaVision and everything. So I am very much looking forward to it. And then and Benedict wait. Cumberbatch is... It's Benedict Cumberbatch. What can I say? <laughs> exactly. Mm. The new Grand Admiral Thrawn. Wink, yes. Wink. <laughs> what do you think, Chris? Uh, no, I, I'm in, I'm in agreement with you guys. I think this is pretty awesome, and I did not know that Ethan that they're going to bring back like t like they're going to bring like the actors that they were that they were going to have do like Iron Man, like Tom Cruise, and what have you. I think that's a really clever idea to create kind of like this multiverse, right? This alternate universe mm -hmm. of these characters. I think it's pretty brilliant, actually. I know they're doing they're touching upon that a little bit with the Spider Man three bringing back. Um, well, like Andrew Garfield and what have you. So mm -hmm. I like that. I actually really like that concept. And it, it, it gives them like this, like kind of like this room to play. Like it, mm -hmm. it's really fun to do. I don't know. I think it'd be really cool to see these alternate versions of these characters. So I'm all for it. I was a real big fan of the first Doctor Strange. It was trippy as hell. And yeah. It was really, really cool. It was like Marvel meets Inception or something. Yeah. And I just, I just fell in love with it. So I'm excited. And you know what? We're getting that whole little area, that little section um, at California oh, Avenger yeah. for Doctor Strange. So maybe this movie will, will, will play to that. Maybe we'll get some cool stuff added to DCA. So I'm on board. I'm ready. I'll be there on March 25th, 2022. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. And hopefully by then we can get that Avengers ride up and under construction. I hope it's not postponed too long. <laughs> Next up, here's the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Wow, this is my least anticipated um, Disney Plus show. But I'm still excited for it because I like Sebastian Stan, <clears throat> Luke Skywalker. <laughs> and... <laughs> and uh, uh, I forgot the other dude's name, but um, I definitely Anthony, know. Anthony Mackie. Anthony Mackie. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, she's super interesting because the trailer, you know, because he got, he got the shields to Captain America, but in the trailer, he's not Captain America. So I'm curious to see when he becomes Captain America or if he decides not to use it. I don't know. That's, I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. How about you, Chris? Yeah, I'm intrigued by it. I Actually, the... the um... 
at first I wasn't too interested in the concept, but after watching a trailer, I, I, I'm all on board. I'm on board. I'm hundred percent in on this. Like, I think it looks really, really cool. Um, it, it looks like, um, it kind of almost like from the trailer, almost like, like those like FBI, like shows that you watch mm -hmm. like, a lot of action and like a lot of black vans and what have you. I'm just like really curious to see what they do with this. Um, I, I'm on board with it. It's Marvel. You know, I trust them to make really quality stuff. I'm sure I'm going to love it. And like you, I'm a huge Sebastian Stan fan um I, I think he's pretty awesome uh yeah i mean I, you know they don't really give us a whole lot to work with here like on these trailers and stuff but uh mm. from what i've seen it looks like it's mcu movie quality mm. and they have a great track record so i'm definitely going to give it a chance so yeah i'm on board how are you chris i mean george <laughs> yeah i'm pretty much on the same boat as you guys i'm i'm very interested in to see what they can do with it. Um, more so, I'm curious about where the timeline is with this. Because yeah. as you said, he, Falcon hasn't become uh, Captain America yet. So is it is this series more so on the verge of him, uh, him becoming Captain America? You know, like, you know, donning the shield, but still hesitating on becoming that title, you know, or not? Or is this, you know, the storyline in between infinity war that eventually ends up into end game like i'm more so i think that's where i'm at with this show more than anything is where mm -hmm. is the timeline on this yeah same here yeah and yeah. last but not least well disney plus shows oh wow what happened to loki well we're going to talk about loki well here. let's do loki oh, first right yeah because that, that's a disney <laughs> yeah, plus thing you're right yeah. let's do that one first and we'll go back up so Loki, wow, you know, maybe because we didn't get a, any trailers for this, like the first actual trailer, but I was like most, I think I was most impressed with this one because it was so different and so unique, unique, and I love Loki in general and Tom Hilson in general, and uh, Owen Wilson's character is, looked really different, or he looked really different in that one too, and then the little Black Widow cameo that, or someone who looked like her, like, I don't know what's happening, but I'm really, it seems like completely new stuff. So I'm all on board. And the trailer I watched, I think, three times just like blew my mind. I loved it. Um, but what do you think, George? Definitely. This, out of everything in, in the Marvel announcements, even back at the D23 Expo, this was the one show that I could not wait for. And it's like, I just the title alone it just loki you know that's it you know i mean and and who doesn't love tom hiddleston so i mean mm -hmm. it's like you know for me it's i i love kind of going back on how we were talking at the for part one with uh star wars that you know to go beyond the villains storyline and their background mm -hmm. and where they come from and how they go about doing things and Loki is just a complex character that he has. He wears so many hats yeah. in the, the MC mm -hmm. universe. So it's, it's only fitting to give him his own series. Yeah. Yeah. No, George, you're absolutely right. And this is actually, I have to echo your sentiments. I'm actually, this is the thing that excited me the most with the whole announcement for MCU, which surprised me because I thought, I don't know, my assumption for Loki was it was going to be kind of like a comedic show. I don't know mm -hmm. why I assume that, but I just kind of figured it would be. And the, the trailer is the complete opposite of that. It looks like a real serious, dark show. Kind of reminded me a little bit of the Joker movie that came out recently, mm -hmm. that kind of vibe, you know, that real mm -hmm. dark yeah. you know, kind of energy. Um, I absolutely loved it. And then I don't know if this music that they had in the trailer is going to be in the actual show, but I oh, love the score it. was amazing. Oh my God. It was incredible. I did it. It was so cool, especially with the end when they showed the, the, the title Loki and the music, it was mm -hmm. really awesome. So yeah, this is definitely my favorite of all the announcements for MCU. This is awesome. Yeah. Like can I wait? I think it's about May, 2021. So not too, not too far away. Yeah. And then, um, Black Widow, poor Black Widow, keeps getting pushed back. 
I almost. But don't worry, it'll out. it'll be re- it'll be released in 2030. We're good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> At this point, like, yeah, hey guys, don't worry like, about it. Don't worry about it. Governor Newsom said he's 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 working on it. So oh yeah, yeah. it'll be released very soon. Very, very, very soon. Short. Don't worry. <laughs> the only thing he's right about on very soon is the the vaccine. It came next week, like you said. But other than that, very soon is there. It's 2035 over here. Yeah. Or, Scarlett Johansson and waiting 10 years for her own movie and she still has to keep waiting <laughs> but, uh, um, but I wish man I wish I could instead of soul love soul I can't wait for soul but yes I wish I could be watching Black Widow on well uh, as, on I, as I said Day. with with uh, uh Christopher is I really personally think that the first startup for the premiere access as I said I enjoyed Mulan but I really think it should have been Black Widow. It yeah. should have, you know, because then Mulan had those other controversies with the uh, concentration camps and stuff like that and where they film. So it was like a terrible test case. It should have been Black Widow because it was ready to go. It was just sitting there, still sitting there. And that way they won't have to keep pushing because Mulan doesn't tie into any larger storyline, but because Black Widows, they have to keep pushing stuff back. So... I'd rather I'd pay fifty bucks to see this on Disney Plus. <laughs> um, yeah. But super cool, also because I don't know if you guys heard, but Yelena or Florence Pugh, Yelena, who's in this movie, shows up in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Cool. I don't know how, but obviously it connects the two. But because this movie can't come out, Falcon and the Winter Soldier got delayed by a whole bunch of months, which is why it didn't come out in August. So. Come on, Mulan, stupid Mulan. But <laughs> anyway, this I'm super excited for Black Widow. Uh, the Eternal seems interesting, since it's just labeled right there. And Shang-Chi, I, I don't know much about that, him or the comics. So, But I'll watch it because it's a Marvel movie. But I'm um, excited for Black Widow because she deserves her own movie. And I'm excited to see how Florence Pugh's Black Widow, you know, goes and like takes over or whatever she does yeah by the time by the time we get this movie the character is already going to be resurrected so her prequel (laughs) doesn't matter yeah (laughs) i know right exactly exactly no i I, this movie i've been looking forward to this for a long long time they actually when i was we're at the i'm when we're at d23 like a year and a half ago now um, at the panel, they showed us like a, like a 10 minute clip of this fight scene. I think it was Black Widow and her sister, if I'm not mistaken, mm-hmm. having this yeah. fight scene that lasted that felt like forever, but it was so incredibly dope. I loved it. I'm excited for this. I, I just want them to release it. You know, I, yes, at this point, please. I don't even care. Just put it on Disney Plus. I'll watch it. <laughs> like, I don't yeah. need it in theaters. <laughs> yeah, please. Hurry up. Oh, gosh. May, but hopefully by May. Well, definitely by May, it should be able to do the movie theater. <laughs> Because they should be open. Because they just have to be. Um, so Black Widow, super exciting. What's what's next down there? Oh, now. so the next thing we got past Loki is what? What if? if? So funny story about what if? I was not looking forward to it at all. I was like, oh, an animated series about what if? That sounds stupid. But then I looked at the trailer and I'm like, wow, this looks pretty interesting. Like Peggy is Captain America. Um. That dude the, from Guardians of the Galaxy, Michael Yondu, finds instead of Star Lord, he finds like Chadwick Boseman as Star Lord. I, I don't know, it's weird, but it sounds, it looks pretty, looks pretty interesting. And if anything, I like the animation style that it's doing. Like it's like a unique animation style. So I'll definitely check this one out. I think next year or summer 2021. And I love Jeffrey Wright. I have a who watched Westworld. Jeff Wright's awesome, or the new Batman, where he's Commissioner Gordon. But Jeff Wright's awesome. What if looks better than I thought? What do you think, Chris? No, yeah, I'm down for this. Like, like we mentioned in the Doctor Strange, um, you know, segment, like, you know, having this like alternate universe is intriguing to me. I'm curious to see like this take on on these characters, you know. So I, I'm on board with it. I'm a big fan of, of like superhero animation. I absolutely loved Batman the Animated Series in the 90s. I love the X-Men series in the 90s. 
um, like even like gargoyles. I know they're not technically superheroes, but they're kind of the same genre a little bit. I, mm-hmm. I like these kind of shows, so I'll definitely check it out. I'm excited for it. What do you think, George? Yeah, I'm I'm pretty much there. It's I'm curious about it. You know, I don't I can't really say that I'm overly excited for it, but it's definitely something you know interesting to take a look at. Yeah, I'll see. Uh, check that one out. Next one, Miss Marvel and Captain Marvel 2. <laughs> I haven't read any of these comics, or actually, I don't read any comics, but I don't know much about these people, but except for well, Miss Marvel. I, I don't read Captain Marvel, yeah. But <laughs> super interesting, more diversity. As you see, she's like Pakistani, I think. And uh, she's obviously a big fan of Miss Marvel, or er, Captain Marvel. And she's been confirmed to be in Captain Marvel 2. So I'm excited to see how it leads in that story. And the with Miss Marvel, Kate Bishop, young or er, Kid Loki, which is rumored to be introduced in the Loki series, and a couple others, there's a uh, Young Avengers movie or TV series coming in the future to Disney Disney Plus or the movie theater. And as you see, they're kind of, be sprink- they're kind of being sprinkled around. Oh, Cassie Lang is another one. It's, they're kind of being sprinkled around, you know, in these Disney Plus series. The whole Young Avengers slash would be pretty exciting. So I'm excited. Maybe not for Miss Marvel, but how Miss Marvel leads into the overall larger story. What do you think, Chris? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm a big MCU person. So I'm going to check out everything. I don't like you. I don't really know anything about Miss Marvel. I have no, no expectations going into it at all. Um, So I'll watch it because I like the MCU and it's connected to everything else. So I'll watch it. Um, In terms of Captain Marvel 2, um, I thought the first movie was okay. Um, I actually really like Brie Larson as an actress. I think she was really good in that movie Room. I don't know if you guys have seen that uh, mm-hmm. with the Trembly kid. I, um, I forgot his first name. but I like her in the Kong School Island. She was also in that one as well. Yeah, she's a great actress. Um, I, I, just, I didn't love her in Captain Marvel, but I actually liked her a lot more, though, in the, uh, in the Avengers movies, when they added her into mm-hmm. the Avengers movies. So... I think with the right direction and everything, I think I think that this movie could be really, really awesome. Um, so I'll definitely check it out. But yeah, I mean, I don't really have any kind of like, like, am I over the moon excited for these things? No, I'm not. But it's Marvel. So yeah, I'm going to check it out. I, ch- I watch all of them. I love Marvel. So I will definitely <laughs> check out both of these, you know, but uh, do you I don't think- really have any expectations oh. going in. What do you think, uh, George? Yeah, I'm pretty much in the same boat as you guys. Um, I I've never you know, read any of the comics. I don't know any of like the intertwinings of the stories, you know, that's uh, Jason from uh, the Grand Circle Tour podcast is for you know, He knows all that ins and outs. Get them on in. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, as far as Captain Mar, uh, yeah, Captain Marvel goes that I'm, I loved the, the first one. Because it kind of related to me because the movie was set in the 90s and I'm a 90s kid. So to Radio actually, Shack. So to actually <laughs> see Radio Shack and, and Blockbuster and all that, <laughs> again, it just kind of like, you know, it had taken me back, you know, as far as um, the storyline goes. But again, as, as Chris mentioned, you know, it's Marvel. You know, it's part of the storyline. You have to see it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So... It seems like that was all that was in that article, correct? That's correct, yep. Wow, so that article definitely lied because I forgot Black Panther 2, which I'm excited for. And <laughs> Fantastic Four, how they not mention Fantastic Four? There's not much information on it, but Fantastic Four, people, it's coming back. Yeah, that's that. Like, we have to talk about Fantastic Four. I mean, yeah. this franchise has had so many problems, like mm. with Fox, right? <laughs> yeah, Especially two times. Th- yeah, twice, you know, <laughs> and um, it's really struggled. I think now with Kevin Feige and the MCU, it's really gonna, it's really gonna do wonders. I, I am so excited for that. I, I'm yeah. very, I'm very excited for Fantastic Four, but they have to do it right based off of the, this MC universe. It has to be, and kind of quoting back to my friend Jason from the the Grand Circle Tour podcast is, he 
he believes that it's done and over with about the of how they became the Fantastic Four. We already know how they became the Fantastic Four. It's like bring them in, guns blazing, ready to roll. Yeah, like kind of like how Spider Man swung in in Civil War. He's like, hey guys. Yeah. 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 Like, and then also they forgot. I don't know where they put the Secret Invasion TV series. That that's the Samuel uh, Nick Fury series. Which would be super cool, and Ben, uh, ben Mendelsohn, you know, the lead scroll there, which was gonna lead into Captain Marvel two, which Captain Marvel two is really like the secret invasion movie, which is like this Avengers Endgame level event because that's when the, in the comics this in secret invasions when the scrolls were disguised as like Avengers and they came and like infiltrated the U.S. government and like took over the world basically. So that's like the next big movie level event. And stupid complex, they even put it in there. But yeah, the Secret Invasion series is in the lead in the Captain Marvel 2, which is that movie. So that's like super exciting. Yep. And and also, another series I'm really looking forward to for the MCU is She Hulk. I really am yeah, curious about She Hulk. Yeah. And it's going to put uh, Mark Ruffalo is going to be in there and Abomination, which is super cool. And Dare, Daredevil, they, he teased the Daredevil maybe. Yeah, because they're both lawyers. Yeah, so I did. Might, that too. And another thing that I'm looking forward to from Marvel is the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. Yes, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am Groot. I am Groot. <laughs> yeah, there's so Man. there's so much with Marvel. Like they 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 have so many. Like it's gonna be awesome. The the holiday Man. special is gonna be epic. That's and gonna be. I this really generation. have to say, and I really have to say, I have to commend. Disney and and Marvel on in not to get this like too personal or or political or anything that that they reinstated James Gunn to take the helm yes, with please. everything with Guardians of the Galaxy that he had a big part in Mission Breakout at DCA mm-hmm. he did the first two Guardians of the Galaxy movies he's doing the holiday special that's going to eventually lean into Volume Three. And, and he had a part in Endgame as well. The each Guardians yes, Guardian segment. Exactly. So I and, think and you know. I think that you know it's only fitting that if it has to deal with the Guardians, give it to James Gunn. Exactly. Like yeah. wow. Now let's see if he can replicate the same success with this new Suicide Squad movie. I hope. I hope he can. I hope he does. Is but, Margot is Margot Robbie going to be in that one? Yes. Okay, then I'll watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's on me. Honestly, me too. You know, Margot Robbie. I'm, uh, John Cena's gonna be in it. I feel, I like John Cena, but yeah, Margot Robbie definitely gonna. You know, that's I, I. I'm not sure about this new Pirates of the Caribbean movie because I really want Johnny Depp to be in it. That's another thing. Mm, terrible. I guess we'll put on. We can put on George's Disney video because that's a Disney thing. But um, <laughs> Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Come on, hire Johnny Depp back, man. I want him in the Fantastic Beasts. I want him in Pirates of the Caribbean. Terrible. But that's all for the Marvel section. But subscribe and click on George's link on the top right corner and in the end credits for his Disney slash Encanto section. So subscribe. Have a great Oh, have a fantastic day. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.